Hi guys, remember a couple weeks back I showed you the video of the golden rain tree in bloom with all the flowers? Well, I thought today I would show you um, how it actually goes to seed. And so I have it in three stages here. Up close, we have, so that's the very green one, that's the kind of dry one, and that's the shriveled up one there. So this is the one that I picked this morning. This is the one that's about three or four days old, and this one's about a week old. Let's see what the seeds look like. So when you open it up, each of these little pods has, oh, this one has one, two, three, four, and that one's dried up there. So maybe they have to go to black before that they can be planted, but there's five seeds in that one alone. So let's check each one and see if that's a pretty consistent number. It's like Christmas. <laughs> All righty. So this one here. Oh, see, yeah, they're falling out there. There's one, two, three, four, five. So, you know, five might be the consistent number for these. You know, let's do all three. Oh, see, look how big and fat they are. So they shrivel up to the black size there. And then they get planted. Look at that. There you go. I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting. I thought you might, you guys might too. I admit I don't know much about growing seeds. I that's not really my forte. I uh, have I picked these branches here because a girlfriend of mine has some property and she can throw the seeds off in the tree line there. And I thought, you know what? This is a great time to at least show you guys if you are curious, you know, as well. This is, this is the stages that a golden rain tree goes through when it's going to seed. This is how I dry them out also. I just keep them in a brown bag here until they're all, all done doing their thing. So let's do that right now. There's that one. Whoops. Pick some up off the floor if it happens. There's that one. And the roof brush off. There we go. It's a lovely cool morning here in Nashville. It's actually in the low 60s. I've got a little bit of yard work to do. The salvias have fallen flat, so I am giving them a hard cut back. It was about five weeks ago I did this, and so I'm hoping, and I'm pretty confident that they'll grow back. Thank you. 
So there we go. They all got trimmed down. So it, it looks a little shaggy here in the front now, but I'm quite okay with that because what it does is, that, you know, it gives the other flowers a chance to shine. We've got the daylilies here. We have our hostas. We have our ombre cone flowers. We have all the autumn joys in here with a random mixture in the center. We still have a couple popsicle plants popping up over there. Our black-eyed Susans are coming into bloom and a couple different other varieties of the ombre cone flowers and hostas. I'm curious to see how they look in the next week or two. The last time I cut them down was about maybe five weeks ago. So let's see what the turnaround time is. Here's a little quick tour of some of the other flowers we've got planted here. I've got a coleus here that had been drowned and so he's, he's getting his life back. <laughs> this is my neighbor's Gerber daisies. This is my Picasso ca uh, canna. These are all of my jalapeno plants and one more coleus on the side. The jalapenos are doing really well. I've got one growing in here somewhere. Oh, here we are. There he is. There's my first one. And the, these Shane had started from seed. There are tons of flowers on them, so I'm excited about that. My porch garden's starting to look bushy, and I'm happy with that too. Look how pretty. 